All right, so back to the cylinder head here. The final operation is, is that it needs to get this uh, semi-hemispherical combustion chamber machined into it. It's about one and a half inches um, diameter at the surface and only a half an inch deep. This is an inch and a half bull nose bit. So what I did was I made myself a little fixture here with uh, the pin um, and the head mounted slightly off center. So when I plunge with that bit, I'm going to rotate this thing on the pin and I'll get kind of a, an approximation to that uh, elliptical semi-hemispherical combustion chambers to get the volume of it about right. And then to hold the head, um, I just clamp on this uh, split fixture here that I machined to the right outside diameter. And then to, this fits in there nice and snug like that, you see. And uh, just to make sure it doesn't rise or come out of there and I scrap the head, I'll just put this clamp on it because it's just small enough that I can get away with uh, turning it and it not hitting the back side of my uh, uh, dust collector there. So here's the hole. I'll put around there and then uh, look away we go. Oh, oh boy, one thing I did forget to mention is, is that up here on top of the router there is a limit switch. So if anyone's wondering, you know, how I know where to stop, I've already kind of set the limit switch up here on the plunge. So it's pretty much, uh, you know, foolproof. Here it goes. And there's the combustion chamber, semi-hemispherical combustion chamber in the cylinder head. So I'll cycle through a couple more of those here off camera and uh, we'll be good to go. <clears throat>